Right then. Hello, ladies. It's Monday again. Isn't that brilliant? So, we discussed via messages on the Ning, and today would be our first sort of theme. And the theme is, we're all showing our crib, as Alice referred to it. I re-watched the video, and I don't think you actually mentioned it, which you said you would. So, I'm mentioning it now. It was Alice's idea, so... Thank you, Alice. I'm now about to show you my room. First of all, we have this contraption. That's my bed. That's my shoulder, but that's my bed. Yep, yeah, this is my bed. This is where I sleep every night, which is very interesting, I think. That's the start of a good conversation. I'm going to zoom in now. That's a bit better. You can actually see my face, even though I'm like halfway across the room. That's not bad, actually. I have a fantastic zoom feature on this camera. But yes, every night is where I sleep. This is a bit of paint on the wall. What's that? That's something I stuck on the wall. In fact, I think I might show you my wall because it's covered in rubbish. This is my wall. Originally, I um, decided to start sticking things, which I referred to as awesome, on my wall. And it's all just built up. At first, I started using that wall. Oh, yes. This is my desk. That's my computer monitor. No, that's my compu computer monitor. That's my computer. That's a load of rubbish. To be honest, yeah. Half of that is rubbish, half of that is coursework papers, half of that is a book, keys, a torch, a pack of cards, and a bright pink plectrum. But yes, that's where all the editing and movie magic happens. And above it is my first attempt at creating my wall of awesome, which is what I called my the walls which I stuck stuff on. That then I uh, migrated over to the wall to the left, where I put some of my favourite things like that painting of Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil 2 hand painted on the canvas, which I love by the Britons your country need you to drink more tea do what the moustache says the moustache knows best that's one of my favourite posters and this here is my latest edition what is it? it's all the rules, you can't see it because it's in pencil but I wrote down all the rules because I can't remember them off by heart because and here's, um, here's Jasmine's rule of introduce one new fact about myself every week. I have terrible memory, so I have to write down stuff like that, or I'll forget. This is my desk, also full of rubbish. What do I have here? I have a book, my wallet, what is this? Hairstyling stuff. That is my tripod. It's a wooden box, it's a little blue box, and it's an even smaller box. That's a door. This is my wardrobe which is full of shirts. I have my suits here. I have some t-shirts over there. I've got some shirts in the middle. I've got some uniform. All a bit rubbish. But there you go. And that was my room. Usually I'm a bit higher than this, but at the moment I'm just crouching and I've used Zoom so I don't look too small. Movie magic right here. So let's do some of the quote we sorted out. So let's do some of the quote we sorted out. I believe it was Susanna's, Susanna's quote. Um, talk about at least two points brought up in early videos. Now I believe it was said by both Jasmine and Laurie in passing that they both have two dogs. That's four. That's two. I too have two dogs. They're not with me at the moment. Well, yes they are with me. That sounds like they're dead. They're not dead, thank God, because that would have been a surprise, because I saw them about ten minutes ago. They're just sat downstairs, in fact I might point a camera at them. This is Ruby, who if you follow me on my main channel, you might recognise, as she's been in about two of my videos. But this, curled up in a dog bed, is Calypso. She hasn't been in any videos at the moment, but she's still lovely. And there you go. And that's my dogs introduced. So here I am, sat on the floor again, and there's only about two more points I really need to bring up before I wrap this video up, and I hope it's under eight minutes, or I've broken my own rule. And not only do I not want to be the first person to break a rule, I don't want it to be my rule I've broken, because that's a bit stupid, and a bit rubbish, and I'll be annoyed at myself for being an idiot. First it to Susanna. Thank you for introducing us to Deep Fried Awesome and the Sexy Macaroni. They're both really awesome channels. And we haven't really done a formal shout out to them, so I'm going to do that right now. I realise most of you... I'm short. I realise most of you will have probably subscribed to Sexy Macaroni, as well as Deep Fried Awesome. But... If you haven't... How dare you? I'm just going to explain to them now. 
I believe they're friends of yours, Susanna? Well, I think so. I'm going under this impression because they spent about 15 seconds talking to you, and talking about you, in one of Deep Fried Awesome's videos. So I'm gonna guess they're your friends, but I'm also gonna guess they're really awesome, and we're all thankful that you introduced us to them. Bugger it, I'm getting my chair. There we go. It's all well and good finally doing a video out of this chair, but it's really uncomfortable, so I'm just gonna finish it in this. So, yes, if you haven't subscribed to Deep Fried Awesome or Sexy Macaroni, the links are in the doobly-doo, and they're there. Deep Fried Awesome is there. Sexy Macaroni is there. Click them if you're not subscribed to them. I'm going to be really annoyed, and I'm going to be really upset, and I'm going to cry, and I don't tell myself I wouldn't cry. I'm sorry, that's... Me breaking down is one of the bits of humour I like to do, because it generally gets a laugh, because people like seeing me in pain. But finally, we all seem to be doing our own of the week, and the second Susanna said we should maybe do a blank of the week, I already knew what I'm doing. I will be doing... I will be doing Daniel's quote of the week. So, let's have like a little Sony Vegas magic up in here. It's time to do Daniel's quote of the week. Yes. My quote of the week comes from the book Mogworld, which I finished a little while ago. My favourite quote in this, which got me laughing straight away the second I read it, and I think was the best joke Yahtzee Croshaw, who is the author, has made in this book. The quote was said by Slippery John, who is one of the main characters. Love is blind to petty flaws like total catatonia. That's brilliant, I think. That's brilliant. But I think at this rate I'm going to be way over time and I don't want to break my own rules, so... I'll see you tomorrow, Sizanna. Sizanna. Yes, I'm totally picking that up from Deep Fried Awesome and Sexy Macaroni. I'll see you on Tuesday, Sizanna. Sizanna. I'm totally going to get used to that and I'm not going to fail anymore. God damn it!